Morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of WNBA Best Bets presented by BetMGM. I am Cooper Boni for Odd Shopper. As always, you guys can find me on social media at CrashboardsDFS. A couple of bets for tonight, guys. We've got WNBA playoff semifinals rolling on. We've got a couple of game twos tonight. Before we hop into those, let's review our picks from the game ones of this series. We went one and one in our last edition of WNBA Best Bets, guys. Took Connecticut plus three and a half. Won that one. Connecticut actually ended up winning outright. And we also took the Las Vegas Aces, minus four and a half, I believe. They ended up losing outright. Seattle stole one in Las Vegas. So one and one last time we made a video. Let's see if we can improve upon that today. Let's go ahead and hop right into it, guys. First pick I want to talk about is going to be from the Connecticut Sun Chicago Sky game two. The pick I like for tonight, Chicago Sky minus four and a half getting that at minus 110, obviously a little different than the Connecticut Sun plus three and a half bet we took the other night, but got to switch it up, got to adjust when making these picks, especially when you're in a playoff series. These games can get very hectic and they can be very back and forth considering how good all these teams are. First note I have here, guys, the Sun upset the sky in Chicago game one. Mentioned that earlier, took a lead 1-0 in that series. Uh, Candace Parker had a record-breaking performance in this one, guys. She dropped 19, 18, 5 assists, and 10 stocks. I think she had 6 blocks and 4 steals. Uh, if they lose again tonight, Chicago must win 2 straight games in Connecticut in order to bring the series back home for a possible Game 5. So, very tough sledding for Chicago if they don't win this one. As I mentioned earlier, guys, Parker had a historic performance in Game 1. Unfortunately, didn't have many of her teammates step up in this one. Kalia Copper, Emma Miesman went for 13 and 10 points. Uh, they played all right. Honestly, even Emma Miesman's 10 points, very uninspiring 10 points. She had about five points in both halves. Uh, no one else on the sky had more than seven points. Allie Quigley was the one with seven points. That's disappointing to see. Courtney Vandersloot. Her wife had a miserable game, had just five points and two assists. Keep in mind, just the other week, we were on our prize picks, best plays videos, and we were mashing Courtney Vandersloot PRAs. We were mashing Courtney Vandersloot points props. Don't know what happened to her in this game one, guys, but they're not going to win this series if she puts up five points and two assists. It's not going to happen. She was averaging six assists. She was putting up almost 15 points on a game-by-game -game basis. So that was not ideal to see for Chicago. I expect that to change in the second game. Uh, due to Chicago's lack of offensive game outside of Parker, they lost a very low scoring affair, 68-63 in this one, guys. Point total went under. Uh, much like Chicago, Connecticut did not have a great offensive game in the series opener, but they helped themselves by playing awesome team defense. I expect both teams to have more success in this one. I think more points will be scored in this game too. And like I said earlier, I particularly expect certain players from Chicago, like Allie Quigley, like Cordy Vandersloot, even Azra Stevens. She only got about 14 minutes off the bench, and she played decent. I don't know why she only got 14. I think they might have to give her a few more minutes in this one. So look for players like Vandersloot, Ezra Stevens, Quigley uh, to step up in this one and play a little bit better than they did last game. So all in all, guys, when betting this game, this game two should be a good one. I think the best play is to roll with the sky minus four and a half. We've seen this team with their back against the wall before, especially with their home crowd behind them. This is a team that I think can come out and win by five, by 10 points. As I mentioned earlier, guys, that best bet for game one, Sun plus three and a half, that hit with ease. It's time to flip the script. I think Chicago is going to ensure that they are not under ridiculous pressure going into game three by winning this crucial second game at home. I think that thought process, along with that home court advantage, as I mentioned, should help the Sky win this game pretty comfortably. Sky minus four and a half. That's what I'm rolling with for the first game. Before we hop into the second pick, guys, want to mention, as always, this show is brought to you by BetMGM. That's where I'm pulling all these lines from, guys, these point spreads, these point totals, over-unders. That's where I'm pulling everything from when I'm talking with you guys, whenever I'm breaking down these lines. So head on over to BetMGM. Great service leader in the industry. Uh, Want to mention as well, they have a risk-free bet promo going on, guys, up to $1,000 risk-free bet. Head on over, type in promo code OSWMBA to get involved in that, uh, or you can click the link down in the description. That should bring you over there as well. Again, that is a up to $1,000 risk-free first bet promo. So 
definitely, definitely go check that out. Again, promo code for us is going to be OSWNBA, or you can click the link down below. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hop into the second and final pick of the night. It's going to be from that Seattle Storm Las Vegas Aces game. Tips off 10 p.m. Eastern time, I believe. Uh, the pick is going to be Seattle plus six and a half. If you watched that first game, guys, you saw what Seattle did. They looked great the entire game. They really put together a solid performance against the Aces. Brianna Stewart, Tina Charles, Jewel Lloyd, those three combined for 63 points on their way to a victory in an away game in Las Vegas, might I add. Sue Bird, 12 assists. I mean, they were hitting on all cylinders offensively. Each player has a role on that team. Each player has a role in every team. Whenever all of your players are playing their role and they're doing what they are expected to do, Sue Bird dishing out the rock, Tina Charles having a ton of rebounds, Brianna Stewart, Jewel Lloyd scoring the ball. I mean, that's how this team is going to win. That's how this team's going to make a true finals push. They managed to hold the top scoring team in the league to just 73 points in this one. So that's a good sign of things to come. In terms of the aces, you guys, Kelsey Plum, Chelsea Gray, they were the main scoring options for Las Vegas last game. They combined for 41 points. Very, very good offensive performance, but it's very important to note. These two players had 38 field goal attempts combined. You have Asia Wilson on the team. Chelsea Gray and Kelsey Plum combined for 38 field goal attempts. The Storm seemed to focus on Asia Wilson. They limited her production down low. That led to a ton of four shots out on the perimeter from the Vegas guards. I mentioned Kelsey Plum and Chelsea Gray having a lot of points, but also a lot of shots. Well, Kelsey Plum, Chelsea Gray, and Jackie Young, the three guards for Las Vegas, three starting guards, managed to shoot just three of 13 from three-point range. And Asia Wilson had just 10 field goal attempts. Her regular season average was nearly 15 field goal attempts. Again, I think that Seattle just kind of honing in on her, saying we're going to let the other players beat us. We're going to focus in on Asia Wilson. They did just that. She was also somewhat neutralized in the post area. Guys, she finished the game shooting only eight times in the paint. Uh, she had six less rebounds than Tina Charles. I expect this defensive tactic for Seattle to remain as the plan for game two. Another note I have here, guys, the Storm won outright last game and they were getting even less points. So the odds are a bit higher. Obviously, they've jumped from minus 105 to minus 115. Uh, but this bet still feels generous. Your payout, if you're using the same unit size, your payout won't be too much different and you're getting that extra point or two. So I really, really like the storm in this one. The fact that it went from plus four and a half last game to plus six and a half this game, I really, really like that. And I trust Brianna Stewart and company to play another strong game against the Aces, keep this thing close the whole way through, even if they don't end up winning the game. I think the point spread's large enough to roll with the storm. Another note I had, guys, just... Just a side note, I was watching the game, obviously. Whenever Seattle's close with the team, I'm watching Brianna Stewart. She is impossible to neutralize. She keeps the team in it. It seems almost impossible for teams to come back against her. It's like even if a team's scoring the ball, they're feeding Brianna Stewart in the post, and she's just sitting there posting someone up back to the basket, turn around, pop a mid-range jumper, fade away. She's getting fouled half the time. She's grabbing rebounds. I mean, it is truly hard if you're losing to the Seattle team to make a true fourth quarter comeback because Brianna Stewart just makes every, she shoots every shot. She grabs every rebound. I mean, it's, it was incredible. So plus six and a half, I'm going to trust Brianna Stewart to do the same thing. I mean, she's just, she's just good. She's just really, really good. And I, I think plus six and a half for any Brianna Stewart led team, even though it's in Vegas again, I think that might just be a few too many points to give her and this team. So again, guys, that pick Seattle storm plus six and a half, getting that at minus minus one fifteen. the other pick, uh, Chicago Sky minus four and a half, getting that minus 110. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Hope everybody has a good night. As always, want to mention, guys, like and subscribe to the Odd Shopper YouTube page. So much content, so many content creators uh, for all different sports. You guys like MLB, PGA, UFC, obviously NBA and NFL right around the corner. Uh, so you guys lock in, like, subscribe to the YouTube channel over here at Odd Shop or get notified whenever any new content posts that you're not missing out on that. I will be back for the next set of games. Guys should be in a few days with more videos, best bets and prize picks videos. So you guys check that out. I also will have a prize picks video out this morning for the games tonight. So if you guys are on prize picks, go check that out. And I will talk to you guys soon. Hopefully everybody wins some money tonight. Hopefully everybody has a good time watching these games. They've been incredible. If you have, if you don't watch WNBA, guys, you think, oh, it's WNBA, go watch these playoffs. Go watch these series. It's good basketball. It's fun to watch. So good luck tonight. Later.